What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're gonna to be talking about data source errors and how they can occur. We're gonna start off in the Power Query Editor just so I can show you what happens when a file source changes its path or you don't have permission to view a file. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Power Query Editor and as you can see I have this table loaded into the Power Query. Now notice that I click refresh and everything works fine. I can see the data. But as we start to think about what happens when that file source changes paths, remember that everything has a specific path to bring your data into the Power BI desktop or the Power Query editor. So if I change the path of where this is located, so I'm gonna move this state's Excel worksheet into this new folder here. And as I go to refresh the data, what you're gonna see is this data source error. Notice that it says we could not find the file, and that is because the file path has changed. You can also see the file path down here. It's located on my C drive under my YouTube content. And so the issue occurs where if your file changes location after you've already connected to it, it's gonna present this error to you. If there's a incorrect privacy level set for the data source, you might receive an error such as a firewall error where it references the queries or steps so it may not directly access the data source and so you'll have to rebuild with the proper permissions. Additionally, if a file is locked, let's say it's being used in another application, and that application has locked the file for exclusive access, you're gonna receive a data source error that the process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. Now, you might also get a data source error if you do not have the correct permissions, and so as you access your data, you wanna make sure that you're logged in with the correct credentials, and those credentials have access to the data source. So notice if I bring this file path back, so I go inside the new folder and I'm gonna just drop this back into its original location and I refresh my data that the data is now going to be able to be viewed inside of the Power Query Editor. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. It says, from the Power Query Editor, you attempt to execute a query and receive the following error message data source error could not find file. What are the two possible causes of the error? So as we think about what the data source error is telling us, it's telling us that it cannot find the file. So this is the important piece of information here. It cannot find the file. And so when you're dealing with the availability to access your data source, we have to think about what are the causes of this. And so option A says you do not have permissions to the file. And so if you do not have permissions to the file, then it's not going to be able to find the file that is referenced. So this is definitely a possible scenario. Option B says an incorrect privacy level was used for the data source. Now, if this was the case, if the privacy level was the issue, then we're going to get some kind of firewall issue saying that it cannot directly access the data source. And so while this may seem logical that the privacy level was the issue, it's not telling us that inside of this data source error at the top, it's saying it cannot find the file. And so if the privacy level was the problem, then it will let us know that there is a privacy level issue. Option C says that the file is locked. Once again, if this was the case, then it would say that it cannot access the file because it is being used by another process. And so option D says the reference file was moved to a new location. So we saw this in the previous example that this is definitely a potential cause. D, the reference file was moved to a new location and so it could not find the file because the file path has changed. And so as we think about what the other correct answer is going to be because it says that we have two possible causes of the error. So the first one being that the reference file was moved to a new location. And so we think about having access to the data source 
If it's a privacy level issue, it's going to tell us that it's a privacy level issue. And if the file is locked, it's going to say that it's being used by another process. And because neither one of these cases are true, the option A has to be the correct answer that we do not have permission to view the file. And so those are going to be our two answer choices for this question. We don't have permission to view the file or the reference file was moved to a new location. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.